Hey guys, got another quick episode today. We're gonna actually uh, harvest the two Moon and Stars watermelon that we planted a couple of months ago. The uh, watermelon, uh, if you guys can see, let's take a look down here. Was planted on our deck uh, because we had no space left in any of the beds that we had. So I figured, well, I got a nice big pot and we're gonna try to hang them over the railing. Um, we did an episode a couple weeks ago, if you guys can look over here, and we did a little sling to hold on to the watermelon, and probably a week after that, the plant looks like this. So I posted on Twitter, and everybody said that the plant is pretty much done, and whatever we're gonna get for the watermelons is it. So. My son Will, who is right there with his scissors, is ready to cut them. We're gonna harvest, take them upstairs, and cut one of them open just to see how they are. So Will, go ahead and cut that one off. And why don't you hold that up to the camera so we can see it. And I would say that is a little light for the 20 to 40 pound watermelon that was supposed to be but I don't know, I'm thinking maybe that's an eight pounder. So let's go cut the other one that's in the sling, Will. Okay, we're at the one that we built the little sling for and Will is gonna take the scissors and cut it. The sling worked pretty good. Good job, Will. And I think, what do you think, that one's a little bit bigger than the one up yeah. on the, the uh, deck? Why don't you uh, hold those side by side and we'll take a look. Very good. And you guys can see the markings on the watermelon. Very uh, distinct. Um, I think if these got a little bit bigger, you guys could see more of the spots where it gets its name as far as the moon and stars. I know a lot of the leaves that were on the plant themselves had a lot of unique markings on it. Um, which gave it, gave it its name, but uh, why don't we take these upstairs and cut one of them open. Okay, so we're up here on the deck in the shade and we're gonna take the bigger of the two watermelon and we're gonna give it a cut and we're gonna see if these are red and ripe or if uh, we just had no luck. Cutting it open for the first time. I've never seen the insides of these. And Will, why don't you look at that one and I'll show the camera. We've got uh, a nice red and some big seeds on that side here. So it does look like the inside of the watermelon is ripe. For the big taste test, I'm gonna give Will a spoon. I'm gonna take a spoon, just take a a little bit of it right there and let's see it's actually really good very juicy very watery a lot of big seeds though so people that don't like seeds or spinning them out probably would opt for the seedless kind but the seeds are actually big enough to where when you eat it you just spit them out I'll try another bite. That's really good. It's a, a little warm from uh, being in the sun all day, which I usually eat my watermelon out of the fridge with it being cold, but it's actually kind of nice. It's a nice warmth to it as you're eating it. Don't you think? You like it? Yeah. So, quick episode. Uh, Moon and Stars. Uh, I would say it was a success, uh, not as big as we thought. I figured these would get three to four times the size, but we got, so far we've got one that turned out really good, and hopefully this one here, we'll save this for another day to cut into and enjoy maybe as a snack. So, all right guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Move all the juice out to the tip of the bottom.